Yo, yo, yo! What do? Are we ready for fun? Out until three to Mass Effect Ponage. Oh, wow. So, we're gonna do something. We're gonna add a little something. Uh, I put a little chat overlay thing, so, uh... When it goes on YouTube, people sort of have an idea what's going on. So, um, I mean, does it look good? Can you guys read it? Good. Okay. Is the window a little too big, or is it okay? See the delay. <laughs> the delay's not bad here. It's only like several seconds. But we could go on YouTube. We could go on YouTube and, <laughs> and get like a minute and a half delay if you guys want. Alright, yeah, look at that. We got a trio of winnows here. Team Dextro! <laughs> I don't know why the pixelation is happening, but um, I think. I think it has something to do with uh, YouTube not liking WMV files anymore. So if it doesn't fix itself, I might have to switch to rendering MP4, which I used to, but I stopped because. Which I stopped doing because I thought MP4 quality was a little. could get a little too uh, pixely. My name is. Could you spare a moment of your time? Well, yes I could, Mr. Bhatia. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Yep. <laughs> the only universe in existence where you ask strangers for help and they do it! A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Hey, 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 let's not go into stereotypes. That, that, no, that's not very nice. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. <laughs> Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Yeah, and I will respect your dead wife by reaping the rewards of delicious experience. Well, the difference between BT's videos is like he does um like very low movement videos like the, those Pokemon videos. Like, my shit is high motion. I mean, it doesn't matter what you render it if you're playing a turn-based game like that. But, I mean, I don't know. I might have to bite the bullet and go back to MP4. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Batya. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nerali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. I don't care how badly the Geth mangled the body. Oh, yo, right God, the death it. stare! We are not holding Nerali Bhatia's body out of discretion. We are, frankly, holding the body for research. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Okay, well, here's a tip for you. Just don't get fucking shot, okay? Bam, problem solved. My you god. You got a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. Besides, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one in the universe getting shit done, so I doubt this lady's corpse is going to be helping anyone out. So you know what? Red means go fuck yourself! 
You know who and what I am. Ooh. If I want Nerali Bacha, I can get her. Saucy. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. They are completely necessary. Even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? Hmm, well, uh, yes, because shooting people gives me experience, and I want lots of it. You said you'd been briefed on me. How far do you think I'm willing to go on this? All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Exactly. That's what I know you're... Oh, <laughs> plus nine renegade. Fuck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so I should... I actually got out of a scuffle, so maybe we got some new loot? Maybe? Uh, I got no pistols. What do we, what do we got for mods? High caliber barrel. Oh, we got an extra high caliber barrel. That's nice. Any armor? Nope. 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 Let's see. Garrus wants... What does he want? He wants a new sniper rifle. Not that he's really going to be using it because he should be using his Avenger. Hammerhead radioactive rounds. Wait, what is this? Hammerhead rounds one. What is Tally using? What is Tally's weapons again? Give Rex Phoenix armor. Sorry, that's I gave my only Phoenix armor to uh to what do who do you call it? Uh, <laughs> to Caden. I mean, don't, I think Caden he feels pretty in pink. About the only thing he's good at. I'll tell you that much. Okay, so Tally, you're using pistols. Okay. Enjoy your radioactive rounds, though I know what you're shooting. Alright, so I think we are good to get back to business once we finish talking to Mr. Samesh. And then we'll go talk to the council and have some fun and become a specter and shit, I think. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Your wife is coming home, Mr. Bacha. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Yeah, the only thing that's going to be bringing peace around here is my fucking Carnifex look-alike gun. Not bad, not bad at all. Alright, where's the fast travel? I need more grenades, too. Yep, yep, streaming is pretty fun. Oh! <laughs> Never has fast travel been so scary! Uh, okay, where am I supposed to go? Oh yeah, Presidium, Citadel, Tower. Right, yeah. Who just called Mass Effect Boom? Time that man out! Ridiculous. This is, this is what Mass Effect... What did you click on Mass Effect for? Hmm? It's an RPG! Role playing, and I am role playing as Waldo Girl. Come on. Udin is presenting Speaking of which, evidence to the you're welcome on your next Halloween costume. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. She must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable Looking ally Looking forward to, to getting ragdolled. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. 
You're being played for fools! Yeah, see, look at that. See, Shepard knows what's up. You doubted me before! I am getting sick of this bullshit already. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. Hey, look at what good that, that did. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull... Ambassador. There is another solution. Did I just hear someone gasp? We'll stop Saren. <laughs> it does not require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. God damn it. Let humans solve human... Give me the authority. I go. <laughs> I want to whip his ass so bad. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council. And it was a human who exposed him. I have earned this. Commander Shepard, step forward. I see you smirking, Anderson. Enjoy the show, bitches! It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. What do you mean you wouldn't want these lips on your side? You don't want them on the other side, do you? Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. All right, the infinite bandana is ready. I would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Yeah, well, let's get you. Let's get you saying that I'm disappointing. A specter bonus. Oh, charm and intimidate talents unlocked. If that means what I think it means. Oh, tell me, tell me, get, tell me. I got some good news here. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, what is this? Unity. All right, motivated buyer. Can do, will do. I know, I know what the, yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. We gotta go talk to that jellyfish. Advanced sabotage, I like that. Uh, assault training. Melee damage by 30%, what the fuck? 
Let's uh, put some points in damping. Okay, advanced sabotage, unlock damping. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I think we're good. Okay, leave Moobot alone. He helps. <laughs> no, I bet. I. It's the beginning of the game. I better have enough. I better have enough Renegade Point. I'm going down there. It has to be done. Now, which. No, wait, it's on the Presidium. Which one is closer? Financial District, I think? All right, I think we go. I think I think it's over there. Yeah. Wait, wait. No, that's a big stupid. Oh wait, that's that's the uh, that's the guy who sells stuff. Is Rex that dinosaur guy? You what? Where did the, where did you come from? There we go. I see you. That you, big stupid jellyfish. I ain't got a bone to pick with you, buddy. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC Officer enlisted assistance? The CSEC Officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC Officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Yeah, well, you may not have the intent to cause trouble, but I most certainly do. I don't care about your intent. You're making all Hanar look like troublemaking zealots. This one does not wish to prejudice the listeners against the Hanar. You Hanar deserve what you get. You're either too snobbish or too stupid to follow <laughs> Oh snap! Bring it down the hammer! This one will obey. It does not wish to prejudice other species against the Hanar. That's right, you best know your place. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Yeah, that's right. Send his ass back down to the wards with all the other rabble. Okay, so, oh, we got a keeper over here. Very nice. Alright, give me some of that experience. Yeah, 14. Okay, so now we need to go to CSEC, which is in the wards. Oh, right. Oh, talk to the Turian. Right, right. Good call. Good call. Go back! Wards access. Oh, wards access. Hey, look at that. I don't think I can do the uh, reporter yet. Kalisa seen being Al Jelani. Wait, where'd Turian go? Uh oh. <laughs> I think I left too soon. Whoops. My bad. Wait, what was that? Hey, there's a keeper over there. Sweet! Yeah, we talked to the consort. We did that already. Wait, I probably already got that. Wait, nope. Well, at least we can get experience for the keeper. Yeah. That's okay. We'll we'll make it. I don't want. I don't want to be your gun. What do you mean? Do not disturb the keepers. This one needs a rectal probe. Get fuck you, bastard. <laughs> oh, what did I do to deserve this? Okay, C-Sec time, and then I think we go to Pharos? That's definitely where we want to be. There's a lot of action there. Sup, brother? Welcome to the stream. Are you ready to have some fun? <laughs> looking forward. I'm not looking forward to any Assassin's Creed games anymore. Okay, I think we go down here. I think. Yeah, there we go. Ah, we got ourselves a keeper too. Yeah. All right, time to look at some gear that I can't afford yet. You up? Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel. That about right? Who wants to know? Just checking for CSEC records. I can only sell goods to authorized personnel. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Hmm, well, I can give it a gander, but I'm probably not going to be able to buy Show anything. Show me what you got. Can't I Sounds just, like, good. suck the inventory up? up. <laughs> well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre, 
Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Just show me what you've got. Show me your moves! I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Alright, yeah, show me that good loot that I can't afford. Yeah! I guess I'll just be buying... Uh, <laughs> so, ooh, grenade upgrade. I do like that. I can afford that. Can't even. I can't even afford a, a biotic amp. God damn it! I think we'll just have to settle. Hello, commander. Well, I guess I could sell some stuff. Show me what you got. I'll open the rare stocks for you. Okay, let's see what kind of junk we have here to sell. Light armor, junk. Ah, oh, it shows in the price too. Lancer one, junk. Is this even worth selling? We have to. <laughs> I feel like I'd be better off just gelling this stuff. What are you selling, Strange? <laughs> it's not always about shooting, it's about reloading, too. I do have a shield thing, though. Maybe I can put something in my armor. Oh, wait, I'm already using that. Maybe Garrus wants some, uh... He need You know what? Yep, Garrus, yep. Garrus definitely needs a stimulus package. Alright, Team Dextro, move out! I haven't played Killing Floor in, like, forever. So, uh, no. Come on, epic elevator conversation, let's go! In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Hey, 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 Don't, at least she's always smiling. She's always in a good mood. At least she has that going for her. Steak is good. I had some steak yesterday. Very tasty. Nom 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 nom. Delicious steak. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. You should have told me already, no! Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it. I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Saren's not gonna get away this time. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. 
Hmm, I think I am going to start with... Where do you guys want to go? Pharos, Novaria, or Artemis Tau? <laughs> we can't kill everyone. <laughs> Where do we want to go? I see, I see Pharos. I see Pharos. Liar, oh god damn! God damn, the stretch blown up! <laughs> Actually, hold on, hold on. I, you know what? I actually got a new feature. Moobot is not all evil. Hold on, we can get to the bottom of this. Uh, hold on. Let me. I need to find it first. Let's see. Uno momento. I got this. This is gonna be accurate. Where's the Moobot dashboard? Moobot dashboard. It's somewhere in here. How do we get to the Moobot dashboard? Read more, I know. There we go. Got it. I should actually bookmark this. All right. So we c we got a poll option here. This is how this is gonna go. We are going to add do Pharos, Liara, and Novaria. Okay. So this is this is how we vote. This is how we vote. It's either... How do you do it again? Yeah, there you go. Exclamation vote, vote Pharos, Novaria, or vote Liara. I have got to tinkle <laughs> really bad, so uh, have fun with that. Vote! 